I get this question a lot. When did I finish matric? Um, okay, so firstly, I don't have a matric certificate. I have a high school diploma because um, I got a scholarship to study through the Cambridge International Schools. So I actually have a high school diploma from Cambridge University. But to answer your question, I skipped three grades during my schooling years. So I skipped grade four, grade six and grade eight. And then I finished um, school when I was 16. So I went to medical school when I was 16. And then I graduated from Vitz Medical School at the age of 21. And then um, became a working doctor at the age of 22. Now I am 24 and I've been a doctor for three years. Now I'm doing community service. And next year, I'm going to be a medical officer at the age of 25. So you guys, Dr. Matthew Lenny trended on social media after University of Vets or Waters Ryan stated that Lani never obtained any medical qualifications from it institution, you guys. Now, in a statement on Monday, the Provincial Department of Health said a case of impersonating a medical doctor was registered at the Brixton police station. Lani managed to weave his way into the system pretending to be in the employee of Helen Joseph Hospital where he moved around the hospital corridors circulating content for social media, said the department, you guys. Now, further investigations by the department revealed that Dr. Sanele Zingela, which Lani claims is his real name, belongs to a second-year medical intern at Tembisa Provincial Tertiary Hospital. The real Sanele Zobani Vimbai Zingela has opened a case of identity fraud at the police station in Tembisa. Meanwhile, the Health Profession Council of South Africa says the name Matthew Singelolani does not appear on the country's register of health practitioner, you guys. In a statement on Monday, the council further distanced itself from Dr. Singelolani's claims that he was making statements on the HPCSA's behalf. Guys, so I'm going to make this video and the HPCSA so also say that I should make this video to clarify to you guys. Lani is not my legal surname. That is my social media handles. It's not my legal surname. I don't use the, le my, the Lani surname in my IDs. Zingelwa is my legal surname. So don't go to the HPCSA database and put in Lani's surname, which I've also said it before, it's not my surname. And when you don't find results, you get excited. Because now what happens is that you'll get excited because you'll want to take me down. You report it to the HPCSA. The HPCSA calls me. They confirm my things. Then, so, the, at least the HPCSA will put it on record that Lani and Zingera same person since my popularity is attached to the Lani surname okay so when you go on the HPCSA website you are not going to find Lani because that's not my surname as I believe now you guys the HPCSA spokesperson Christopher Zazawani said it never authorized the 27 year old bogus doctor to make a statement on its behalf he added that practicing without registration with the council was a criminal offense Zazawani explained that in terms of section 40 of the act any person who is not registered in respect of any health profession but a pretends to be registered in respects of such profession or b uses any name title description or symbol indicating or calculated to lead a person to infer that he or she is the holder of any qualification which by a rule under this act is recognized by the relevant professional board as acceptable for registration in respect of such profession but of which qualification he or she is not the holder 
or uses any name declared by regulation to be a name which may not be used shall be guilty of an offence and on conviction liable to a fine liable to a fine or to imprisonment for a period of not exceeding five years or to both a fine and such imprisonment he further went on and said the HPCSA will work with law enforcement agencies to respond to increasing numbers of bogus practitioners as their behavior puts the health system of the public at risk, he said. According to his LinkedIn profile, he claims that he studied medicine at Vets University between 2014 and 2021. However, Vets does not offer an MBBS degree, but it offers an M B B S H degree. Now the council statement comes hours just after the University of Vets called Dr. Zingelalani to retract any and all references he made linking them to the university you guys well that's all that we have for you today please do share your thoughts with me in the comment section also like share and subscribe if you haven't yet done so guys i'll definitely see you on my next video thank you so much for watching this one bye Lebu ngithi mina ngithola umuntu othengisa isigodi sama qualification njengoba mina sengifuna i-degree ye-medicine kanje bathi 5.8 bese lapho bayakunikeza bakunikeze ne-stethoscope awifunwe ne-1 awifuni na Sorry SARS hapa tale tax motho ona 24 ureke kai ureke kai range ha wahlanya ona le tla ba bona le tla ba bona Qualification Yaka Man Yaka guys, yo, at least if I was sponsored by government, I would say, Hore, Elinali, five cent in my qualification, you will understand Elinali, two boponyana in my qualification, Mari, and Maka I patet in your qualification, Levasaki wants a yone, ah, it's very patches strong. If Babana di Pachetangina gets out the border. Yo lasagna. He ma na. Na khana. He ma show us his qualifications. He he ma show us this. He ma show. Ke ya ka dali. Ke kwetse exam e ke li wane dali. Le ne le teng e. He pene ke ne tshwara. Ke ne tshwara ka le tsoholaka. Ba thong lona. He e dali.